enthusiastic morning to everyone. This is Parina Agarwal from Class 9C, and today I am going to share my opinion to you on the topic: competing in sports helps us to cope up with our real life experiences. Have you ever seen a boy, maybe going to a shop? That boy once saw a man hitting, cruelly hitting a woman. What would the boy do? He was in confusion as well as in fear. He did not know what to do, and that is because he did not learn about it. This is practical learning. Practical learning is a way to learn about our own life experiences, and this is exactly what competing in sports tells us to do. Competing in sports tells us about how to handle our own failure, our success, and how to ease in our own lives. Fear, fear of failure is nothing but to see ourselves dropping and letting down in our own eyes. And we must always know one thing: that just a single incident cannot define us. We must always try to be better. And competing in sports has some really major factors that could teach us that. It is passion, determination, motivation. Teamwork and most importantly, practicing. Because we all know that practicing makes a man perfect. Practicing can help a person to ease in their own lives, to learn something new, and to improve themselves, to rectify their own mistakes. Competing in sports does not only teach us about how to face failure, but also teaches us about compassion and teamwork. Being down to earth is the best way to live in this society. and to inspire others and that is the reason i'd like to remind you all that being motivated to inspire others is the best way of living thank you a jubilee morning i'm dakshi parade of class 9c and today i stand before you all to shed light on the topic the rarer action lies in the virtue than in winning in the world where revenge seems to be the norm choosing virtue requires immense strength and compassion vengeance driven by anger and a desire for personal satisfaction may offer a temporary relief but it continues a cycle of violence and suffering in the other hand choosing virtues and virtuous actions with rooted with empathy and moral integrity have power to create a lasting change and foster healing choosing virtue over vengeance is not an easy path It requires us to rise above our own desires for retribution and instead seek understanding and empathy. It is an act of strength as it requires us to resist immediate gratification and to focus on long-term solutions that provide harmony and justice in the society. Thank you. Life is all about self-realization. The more we realize, the more we liberate. An exuberant morning to respected principal, beloved teachers and my dear friends. We all are standing in front of each other with pride and confidence. But do you think someone who feels guilty of being different can have the same behavior? Peer pressure causes today's generation to adopt new habits, especially those which are not preferred by their parents and elders, just because their so-called friends follow it. Could you believe children of 13 to 14 years of age have started smoking or taking drugs? they don't have any tension or responsibility that made them do so but just because their friends did it they adopted it this year 24 students committed suicide in kota one of them a 17 year old jumped from the 6th floor of a building after giving an exam just because his low grades in the exam how could we allow today's generation to become part of such a crime in the hunt of unnecessary pleasures we have forgot about things that we should actually prioritize for sure there is a mitigate solution to the mental problems caused due to the peer pressure nobody can avoid the root cause of peer pressure to penetrate the consciousness of today's generation if anything can be done for sure it is to develop an understanding in today's teenagers about choices and habits that we should actually prioritize thank you good morning everybody i am aditya prasad from class 9c and i am here to express my views in favor of the topic peer pressure results in lot of 
mental problems during teenage years so we all have heard this word peer pressure in one or the another way in our life in simple words we can say that peer pressure is the feeling of getting influenced by someone's behavior and following it in unconditionally peer pressure can be of two types negative peer pressure and positive peer pressure here i am going to talk about negative peer pressure a teenager gets caught in this type of peer pressure when he or she stays with negative teenagers that is the teenagers who are involved in negative activities like bullying smoking etc when a teenager comes into contact with these type of teenagers they get influenced by their negative behavior and hence they start adopting their behavior too like for an example if a teenager bullies another teenager in front of many teenagers then after some time the bulk of teenagers will also get influenced by this bully teenager and starts bullying that teenager in a group now just imagine what will be the condition of that teenager who is getting bullied he will he can eventually go in depression too let me take another example and explain you about negative peer pressure suppose one of your close friend have a habit of smoking and as as he or she is your close friend you also start adopting his activities bad activities actually that is smoking so smoking as you know that smoking is injurious to health and it will affect your mental health and give you tension and anxiety too at last i would like to conclude that peer pressure is not bad but negative peer pressure is bad like we all have heard about an item in hindi koli ki dalali karne se ek vyakti ka haath kala hi hota thank you